Two people are dead after an attack on a bus station in the southern Israeli city of Beersheba. An Eritrean man who was mistaken by Israeli security forces for the attacker is in a critical condition after being shot. This typhoon Kopu struck uh, central Philippines early Sunday morning. This has been inaccessible. This is the area we were trying to cross to get to Aurora province yesterday, but we were unable to because of chest deep waters. Now power is still out here. There's still no electricity. There's still no running water. Everything at a standstill at the moment. It's a new era in Canadian politics. The centrist Liberal Party led by Justin Trudeau has won a majority. Canadians from all across this great country sent a clear message tonight. It's time for a change in this country, my friends. A real change. Begin with a bit of breaking news, though, from Russia, where a Kremlin spokesperson has confirmed Syria's president, Bashar al-Assad, has met with Vladimir Putin in Moscow. Political campaigning in Zanzibar. Unlike the rest of Tanzania, people in this semi-autonomous island get to vote for two presidents, the national one and their own. One issue that has dominated Zanzibar's politics for years is its autonomy. 